We are becoming closer and closer to proving the Turin Shroud is the real burial cloth of Jesus Christ. Not only are we almost certain it's a real human being on the cloth, but over the next couple of years, we could see this being established to the world as Jesus of Nazareth. On the images I have cleared up using AI software here, it reveals in real detail images on the cloth that can only be attributed to some kind of X-ray or other radiation energy accounted for the image. These enhanced images show what can only be a lumbar vertebrae, the lower spine and the back of the man on the shroud. I have blended over the area an actual image of a lumbar vertebrae and it fits perfectly as you can see here. I have also cleared up the image of the Turin shroud that was adjusted by contrast that revealed even the teeth with the roots. This image of the front part of the body showing the hands and crucifixion marks through the wrists also shows the bones of the fingers extending back to the wrists. This means in the image processing it wasn't just some unearth unearthly light in a split second that caused the image but radiation as a byproduct also caused some of the internal parts of the body to be seen if they were near enough to the cloth. You may have seen some of the enhanced images I've done with the face and you can buy these on my PBH shop on Etsy that's PBH shop on Etsy if the Turin Shroud face is the real face and I think I've done a real good job of retaining the face even whilst reducing the marks in swelling then once it comes out over the next few years this is the face of Jesus Christ these original images could be very valuable, probably more so than the Mona Lisa. So it may be a good idea to go to my profile and click on the link to download high quality images or buy prints that you can obtain quite cheaply for now. Who knows what sort of price they will be if, it, you know, if the Turing Shroud is determined as authentic in the near future. But what do I mean by it may be proved in two or three years or less? Well, physicists are looking to check whether there is any isotopes that are left over on the cloth. And if so, this would mean the image came from radiation. That would rule out any possible forgery, uh, or any realistic explanation that it was a forgery anyway. Not only that, but the claimed carbon date they tested in the 1980s has near enough been shown to be wrong by four scientific papers. Other evidence has shown from paint paintings of the Turin Shroud predate the carbon date by a couple of hundred years and more circumstantial evidence that would has shown the Shroud existed in the first millennia has caused one journalist to write that the evidence for its authenticity is now too strong to ignore that any well instructed jury beyond a reasonable doubt would conclude that the Shroud is authentic. <laughs>